this weekend I was trying to download mods for the first time and I found myself in a bit of a problem that I couldn't figure out how to do it. It took me a very long time to actually find a decent enough video to do it and even that wasn't all that helpful. I'm not usually one for mods so it was a very new experience and I decided I would make a good way, good video on how <laughs> on how to install, download, and use some of the mods. So first things first, I'm going to tell you what you need. First thing you need is a is an expander. I found mine on MacUpdate.com and I use Stuff It Expander. I'll put a link down below. So that's the first thing you need. That's just to get all the files out. The next thing you need is the mod loader. To get the mod loader, put the link at the bottom. It's on the Minecraft forum. They sort of have some half-ass instructions here. Don't follow those. But download it. And I am going to stick everything into a single, once you unzip it, I'm going to take everything into a single folder on my desktop. So you download it, you use that expander to unzip the file, stick it in a, into one place. After that, you're going to need your mod. I am currently using the uh, mod pack 1.501. Same thing, it'll come as a RAR file. You know, I'm gonna take that, stuff it expander, get it out, take that mod pack, and stick it in a folder on the desktop. And that's just for convenience sake. Okay. Once you got all those things together, I will show you exactly how to install it. So go get those things and I'll see you back here. Welcome back. Now that you got everything you need, we're, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it. And you have to do it in this order. If you don't do it in this order, things will get messed up. But don't worry if you mess this up. I'll show you how to reset everything later on. So first thing is, open a new finder window. Go to your user, library, application support, and then you will find a Minecraft folder. You're going to open that Minecraft folder. You're going to go to bin. And inside, you're going to find this little jewel here, minecraft.jar. Now right-click, open with archive utility. Now what will that do is it will create a folder with everything that's inside of this jar file right in there. I'm going to take this jar file and throw it away in the trash can. <clears throat> and then you will rename this minecraft.jar. Add. All right, now we're ready to start adding our mods. First thing you have to do is we have to add the mod loader. So you're going to open up the folder, take everything in here, and just dump it in there. Replace, apply all, replace. That's the first bit. The next bit is now you can take your mod. Like I said, I'm using the mod pack folder. And you're going to take everything from all the folders and re apply, replace all mods. Same thing. And copy all. Oops. Take them, dump them right in. And make sure you get everything out of the folders. And I don't need the texture pack, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Depending on which mod you take it'll have different folders so this isn't specific this is just specific for the mod pack okay. now I have, hopefully if you've done everything right you can now open up minecraft log on in if you get this mojang sign it means you did it right let's make a new world Ah, there we go. And so now you can see some of the mods are on. I got whoops. I got up in the left hand corner the time. And up on the right hand corner I have 
a mini map. Uh, depending on your mod, you can start. Now you can start using it. So I'll start taking advantage of it. It's a little laggy because I hit the X-ray button. X-ray is one of my, my favorite mods because you can see all the really cool stuff. There's some squid. So if you look down, you can see where all the coal is, where all the steel is, where all the enemies are. There's some mushrooms over there. Um, great way to find diamonds, gold. If you like to sort of play legit but are too lazy to go find things, there's some diamonds right there. Um, and you can experiment with the rest of them. I don't usually use mods, but I wanted to use them to create my recreate my vending machine for a tutorial because I don't feel like regathering all the resources it takes to build it. So that's how you install it and next I'll show you how to take care of a few little iffy problems like resetting everything if you mess up and but that's pretty much it's that easy and hopefully this will help all of you. To reset Minecraft and get all the folders to go back to default all you have to do is open up a new finder window, go to your user, their library, application support, you're going to find that Minecraft folder that we were playing in before, and you take that folder and you're going to put it in the trash can. With that folder gone, when you open up Minecraft again, it will create that folder for you and put in everything you need back inside. So we'll get logged in here. And since I can do it with my computer, I can actually watch it create that folder. So there it is, and there's everything starting to show up. We'll let this load up, and now that we're there, just close out. And go back down to the Finder, Application Support, Minecraft, and everything's back. So now you can retry again, and good luck if you need to retry again, it's really not that hard to have to do it a second time. Well everybody, that's it for the tutorial. I hope that it helps everybody get um, to use the mods, and enjoy playing with the mods. Have a fun Minecraft!